Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Glenn. I'm Glenn. Welcome to your recovery yoga practice, whether that's recovery for the body, recovery for the mind. If you're here, you clicked on the video, let's recover together. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It really helps out a lot. I'd really appreciate it. Hop in some comfy clothes, hop on your mat. I recommend a bolster and a blanket and a block for today's practice. Let's get started. Let's begin our practice today by jumping right into a supported child's pose. If you don't have a bolster like this, maybe two pillows stacked up together would do. I have a blanket down for my knees. Whatever you need to make yourself most comfortable, bring your pillows or your bolster in between the legs here and then just drape the torso over your prop. Make yourself nice and comfortable. If you have a shorter torso like I do and your head's still on there, just turn one cheek and rest the side of your head. If you're over the front of your bolster, if you have a block or maybe a stack of books, just something to rest your forehead on. But wherever you are, find a nice, comfortable position and let go of all tension in your body. This is a recovery practice. Very low energy practice. We're not lengthening, we're not strengthening. We're just being at ease. As you breathe into your props, feel where the breath goes. Breathing from the stomach into the ribs, maybe up to the chest. But since we're pressing against a prop, you might find the breath goes into the low back. Nice fulfilling inhales, easy exhales. Now if you have a cheek on the prop, you can turn the other cheek now, rest the other side of the head on your prop. If there's still anything that needs adjusting, go ahead and do it. Not too late. Just be here at ease. After your next exhale, slowly bring the wrist under the shoulders and begin to prop yourself up off of your props. Set them off to the side for now and meet me in just a neutral table posture. We'll begin, we'll do some, just some small spinal warm ups. Just moving from the hips, tilt the hips forward, tailbone up towards the sky, drop the belly, and then slowly rise through the chest and the chin. And then beginning from the pelvis, tuck really slowly, and then move up the spine, rounding the back, pushing the spine up towards the ceiling, pressing through the earth with the hands. And then again, with an inhale, tilt the hips forward, tailbone up to the sky, dropping the belly, moving up the spine, not reaching with the neck, just lifting the chin. Then again, exhale, tuck the pelvis, and then slowly moving through the rest of the spine. One more time each way as we drop the hips, tilt the hips forward first with an inhale. Slowly moving up towards the rest of the spine. And one more exhale, tuck the hips first. 
Moving up the back, really pressing through the earth with the hands, feeling the shoulder blades wrap around the rib cage, chin towards the chest. Come back to a neutral table posture. If your feet aren't tucked already, tuck your toes. Or if your toes aren't tucked already, tuck them. And then press yourself back into a downward facing dog. Adjust your hands and feet position if necessary. Pressing through the earth with the hands, some space between the ears and the shoulder. Pushing the chest towards the thighs. Tailbone lifted, making this A shape with the body. Thighs nice and strong. Trying to reach the heels towards the mat. If there's some space between the heel and the mat, that's okay. And from here, we can pedal out the feet. Feeling length in the back of the leg on one side on the other repeat this as many times as you feel necessary make yourself comfortable and then we'll stop here we'll lift the left leg for three-legged dog and then step that foot between the hands set the back knee down and lift the shoulders over the hips for low lunge arms down by the side let the left arm hang as you bring the right arm overhead. And let the right hand just fall towards the earth as you bend deeper and deeper into this side lunge. Inhale back to center, dropping the right arm. And then exhale, hands back to the mat, back to table posture. Press back into downward facing dog once more. And then with an inhale, lift the opposite leg, the right leg this time. Step that through between the hands with an exhale. Back knee on the ground. Rise up, shoulders over hips, hips pointed straight. And then same thing, just the opposite side. Let the right arm hang heavy as you lift and arc the left arm overhead. Trying to get as deep as possible in this side bend in this lunge. You can press forward with the hips. Get, feel a different stretch there. And then an inhale back to center, dropping the left arm. Exhale, hands back towards the mats. Into a table posture. And then swing the legs around. Come down onto your bottom, feet towards the front of the mat. Have a slight bend here in the knees at first. If you're able to do a fully seated forward bend, Paschimottanasana, you can have the legs straight, but if you're like me, you just need a little bit of assistance getting there. Walk your hips back so you're sitting on the hip bones. Inhale, grow long, and then exhale, fold over the legs. Try to keep the toes pointed up here. Breathe into this posture. Try to have your head resting on something. Maybe recruit a block if you have one next to you. Or a rolled up blanket will do also if that's more comfortable for you. you might try that. And eventually as you breathe and sink into this posture You'll find you can slide the heels more and more forward. Hands resting on the ground next to the shins or on the ankles or on the toes if you like, on the side of the foot. Take deep breaths. Again, breathing into the belly. Feeling where that air has to move since we're breathing the belly into the thighs. More and more, you can slide the heels forward, straightening your legs as long as the head is resting on something.
One more breath, a deep inhale. Easy exhale, and as you inhale again, walk your hands up the leg until your spine is nice and long, nice and tall. We can take a twist here, straighten the legs all the way, heels on the ground, toes pointed up. With an inhale, raise the hands, and then we'll take a twist over to the left side, chin falling towards the back shoulder. Just a slight counter posture here. Inhale, hands and arms come up, and then exhale, twisting over to the opposite side. Inhale, arms up once more, and then hands down to the mat behind you, fingers facing away, thumbs pointed towards the outside of the mat. Just open the heart space. Another type of counter posture we can do since we are folded up on ourselves. And with an inhale, come up back to center. Scoot a little bit forward on your mat, soles of the feet down on the mat. Extend the arms out and then slowly sink down onto your back, leaving the knees bent. Let's bring the heels a little bit closer to ourselves, maybe so, so close we can touch our heels with our fingertips. And then inhale, let's lift our hips for a bridge pose. And then exhale slowly, let the hips sink down to the earth. Grab a block if it's next to you, if you need to grab it, grab it. We're going to lift our hips one more time. We're going to place our block under our hips, just where the hip and the back meet. So at the very bottom of the spine, very top of the hips. Inhale, come up. Doesn't have to be too high with the block, but we want to feel some openness in the heart here. Again, take some time. Find the appropriate spot. It's right at the top of the hips, right at the bottom of the spine where they meet. If it's too much on the hips, the low back will, will sag. If it's too much on the back, you'll feel a slight uncomfortable sensation. So find that spot, take your time with it. Rest easy here in this supported bridge pose. If you need to hold on to your block, you can do so. Or if you let the arms just splay out to the side. Feel the support you're getting from this prop. Just sink into it. Let it decompress the spine, let it carry your weights. Breathe deep. If anything is uncomfortable in any way, take your time, try to fix it, make it comfortable. be here for just a couple more breaths. After your next exhale, as you inhale and lift your hips off the prop, set the prop to the side and then slowly lower the hips towards the ground. We like to lift the soles of the feet off the ground, have the legs, the thighs pointed straight up, the shins pointed away from you, and just give yourself a little windshield wiper motion. Just to reset ourselves, a little bit of, re of a recovery posture from the supported bridge, making sure nothing's tight. And then when you're ready, roll off onto one side. Slowly press yourself up when you're ready. And then we'll finish 
this yoga flow with legs up the wall via Prita Karani. So bring your hip next to the wall, set a blanket up for yourself to make yourself more comfortable. And then roll onto your back, lifting your legs up the wall. Scoot yourself back enough to where the lower back can rest nice and easy on your blanket or on the ground. Arms out to the side like you would for Shavasana, some space between the arms and the side body. Inhale, exhale. Fulfilling inhales, easy exhales. This is a great recovery posture you can do outside of any yoga practice, especially before bed. It's just, I feel like it just adds an extra layer of calm. If you'd like to take another position with the feet, you can bring the feet wide to a V, as wide as comfortable on the low back. If you have low back pain, maybe not too wide, maybe just about 45 degree angles with the legs, toes pointed up. Or we can treat this as we're sitting on the ground in Sukhasana, easy cross-legged seated position, just in another plane. Choose one that you enjoy. I happen to just enjoy legs straight up the wall. Some energy in the feet, pulling the toes down towards your face if you like. Do the opposite, point the toes towards the ceiling. Then find a comfortable space in the middle. If you do this on your own outside of this practice, you don't have to stay here too long. But you can certainly stay as long as you like. A couple more breaths here. We let our bodies recover from any mental stress, any physical stress, or even just daily life stress. After your next exhale, bend at the knees, place the soles of the feet on the wall. And if you're able to push off the wall, push off the wall nice and gently, scooting yourself back. If you're able to slide on whatever floor you're on, that's great. Or if you need to sort of slink like I am, come on to your side wherever you are. I'm going to situate myself back centered on my mat, but let yourself be in this recovery fetal posture of sorts before we press ourselves up to easy cross-legged seated position. When you're ready, press yourself up. Meet me in Sukhasana on a prop if you like. And then we'll close out this practice together. Adjust yourself as needed. Cross at the ankle, nice tall spine, open heart, level chin. I hope you enjoyed this short recovery practice. It's nice just as a simple reset for the body or if you're going through any physical or mental stress, it's just nice to forget about everything else for a minute, put our bodies in different positions, just maybe eases some of the stress. Let's take one last breath together, close out this practice with an inhale, circle the arms up, touch the palms overhead, and exhale, bring the thumbs to the third eye. May we think the right thoughts, 
down to the mouth, maybe speak the right words, and down to heart center. May our thoughts, our words, our actions be true and kind. Thank you for joining me. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.